Hello Internet. This game is amazing. Do you know that feeling when maybe you're not expecting a lot from a game? You think it's just going to be an average experience and then you play it and it's so much better than you expected and so you have this warm glow of appreciation and love. Well that's where I'm feeling towards Call of Juarez Gunslinger. I thought this was just going to be an average FPS, but not only are the shooting sections fun, the story is really interesting and keeps you engaged and entertained. Let's check it out. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid, and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. I figured the Wild Bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. So the concept for this game is you're a grizzled old cowboy who's gone into a bar claiming to be a character from some, from some dime novels, a bounty hunter named Silas Greaves, and you're telling the story of your life in exchange for some whiskey. But and in between the... Uh, <laughs> really amusing voice acted sections like that. There are shooting sections. Let's see if we can find some guys to shoot. I love the uh, graphics. It's, it's not maybe amazingly... How can I put this? Like the texture quality maybe isn't amazing. But who cares? It is so atmospheric. It really makes you feel like you're in a western. And the foliage as well. Look at those look at those leaves. Actually, those are lovely looking leaves. I like them. I like foliage in games. It just it just makes me feel happy. Okay. They Ooh. blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. We may be too late to stop the train robbery, kids. Well, I assume the wild bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. Oh boy. I was this, determined oh. to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. This this seems bad. Okay. <laughs> this seems bad. Actually I've finished this game, so I'm just replaying this mission for your entertainment and mine. And do we go down there or in here? Let's go in here. Oh, oh. Yeah, this seems like an entirely logical and reasonable thing to do. I'm, I'm glad we weren't on there when it fell down. Very glad. Uh, okay. So the game sometimes gets you a bit confused about where to go, but you actually just press O and it tells you the star says I need to go over there. Which is actually really useful. The game is an open world. It's mostly... Uh, Linear. Ooh, there's a detonator there. I don't think I want to just use a detonator I've found lying around. Do I have to do that? No, I can go up here. It's not open world, it's basically linear. I mean, most of the game is actually just corridors, but it is so well designed, the levels are so well designed, you just don't notice it. Oh, bad guys. Let's, let's shoot them with the rifle. off unscathed and came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. Okay, let's ooh, just be careful. Deep breaths and fire and fire. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. There's something so fun about the gunplay in this game. Whether you're using the pistols or the rifle, I haven't, I didn't use the shotgun very much. But the pistol, whether it's pistols or the rifle, it's just so fun to shoot people. Oh my goodness, there's somebody over there. Okay, let's see what we can see if we can just take him out from range. I would need to get my ass out of there. I like the rifle because you can kill from range in just one hit. Oh boy, we, we're actually jumping onto this train, are we? Geronimo! Well, that didn't work. Oh, 
I may have done that wrong. Apologies if my voice sounds a little bit croaky, by the way. It's just, I don't know, it's been a hard week for some reason. Nothing that big of anything that just happened. It's just been feeling, ooh, slow-mo section. Been feeling kind of, uh, just a bit under the weather. Yeah, shoot some guys, that's it. Ooh. But in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past the whole passel of desperate. So now we're gonna be shooting guys. Oh yeah, let's shoot some guys. Eliminate the train robbers and find Bob Bryant. Inside, inside, Break down the door. My way and brain. just shoot these guys in slow motion. Yeah. Is there another one? No. Usually when the slow mo doesn't end like that it means there's another one, but maybe not. See, I, so I could pick up this guy's gun, but I like my current gun. In fact, I could do a wheel. Mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Oh no, he got me a bit. Fortunately, we get my health regenerates. And another shot. Ooh. So we didn't go into slow-mo that time because we didn't have enough concentration. That's the sort of coloured gun in the top left. You can sort of it by killing people. Really simple and fun mechanic. So another, there's a guy behind there. Yes, there is. Uh, so, oh, he's dead. He's just leaning on the crate. So the game has all these visual clues like this red scarf to show you where you go. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. And the departure from realism uh, can be justified because Odds this were, isn't reality. I was to die that day anyway. This is just some so guy's memories. As many of those as I could. Not even his memories, it's his story. Just something he's telling to some guys in a bar. And by this point, this is chapter 7, he's drank quite a lot of whiskey and he's quite drunk. Yeah, you know you can't beat me. Oh. I know I can't beat you. Where are you actually? Uh, where is the guy who's shooting me? Hmm. Is he on the roof? Oh, he's up there. Yes. Concentration is good because it highlights the enemies in red. Uh, where do we go here? This way? Yes. Yes, back this way. Oh dear, this guy has armor. The only difference is he's damn duck shot back. Where? Actually, a shooting gallery is a really good description for this game because oh yeah, oh look, red barrels. Sorry guys, I, I had to do that. It was a red barrel. Yeah, a shooting gallery is actually a pretty good description of this game because it does. You kill hundreds and hundreds of people in traditional Western fashion as well. You know, it's a genre convention. It doesn't have to be realistic. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in? Guns oh, are blazing the, to hell. The cavalry is here. Look at the horse. There's a beautifully rendered horse. The cavalry! Help? From the Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. <laughs> as usual. Oh, I just love the oh, game's little elephant. touches like that where it, it takes a departure from reality just because it's a guy telling a story. And I can do things like that. There's a section earlier on where you sort of go into a cave and you find it full of bad guys and you fight your way through them for a while and then the guy just says, yeah, that would have been a really stupid thing to do, so I didn't do that. And the game rewinds back to an earlier stage and suddenly a, a ladder's appeared and there's a new way to go. Oh, actually, I should probably kill these guys. The uh, pistol's not the best weapon to use from range. Oh, wow. who's killing me? Ooh, where are you? I see you. I think. Oh, no, that's not a guy. Okay. He's there. Die. Yeah, I think the rifle is fun. I, I just like, I like ranged weapons in general. 
Anyone in here? I don't want you sneaking up behind me. So, like, one of the things, especially ranged weapons that kill in one hit, like, one of the things I don't like about Borderlands, I mean, I love the Borderlands games, one and two, I've not played any of the others, but one of the things I don't like is the way even sniper rifles, they probably don't kill in one hit, especially on higher levels. And you all just end up having to empty clip after clip into guys. This game is like one bullet does it all. Even against guys with shotguns. But well, I mean for the rifle it does, like I say, for the for the uh for the uh, pistols it's usually most of the guys take more than one bullet. Oh no, I'm nearly dead. Game has a sort of dodging bullets mechanic, so when you're nearly dead you get a chance to dodge the bullet that would kill you. It's just these little little mechanics. It's all simple stuff. So there's the slow-mo, there's the dodging bullet, there's the guns. That's it. I think that's it for the game, but well there's a sort of quick time events as well where you can do sharp shooting, but didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Ooh. Where are we? Chase the wild bunch. Okay, I'm after him. Oh, oh Gatling gun! Tip, if you're gonna... If you're gonna have a turret section in your game, make the gun super fun to fire. You know, lots of explosions, lots of people dying. Look, you know, the, the starting explosions are just pointless. There's nothing... You know, well, I mean, what exploded there? No idea. But it just makes it all the more fun. Turret sections are actually some of the hardest parts of the game because you have to keep aware of where guys are uh, coming from. Okay, let's go into concentration mode, go into slow mode so I can see where they are and just take them out. It's best to keep firing because it keeps the rate of fire up and you have infinite ammo. <laughs> look at the look at the notes of money in the air. This game is just full of awesome touches like that. Once I silenced all those Such guns, a well designed I game. I was searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Oh. Right all Sunday right, so we're facing night. this guy down now in and traditional Curry. Western fast and maybe style. As he lay. Though some folks might dispute. So that. we have to we have to wait for him to draw and then shoot him. But if we, if we shoot him before we do, if we draw first, it's dishonourable. So you have to keep the, the focus reticule on him, and then you alter your ah uh, yes, you alter your draw speed by using A and D. I never fully understood what affects the draw speed. So sometimes it goes up, but sometimes it goes down. Sometimes it goes up if the guy is in focus, and sometimes it doesn't. But it, it's a trial and error. Hopefully it won't take me too many attempts. Got to keep the reticule on this guy. Wait for him to draw. Get my draw speed back up. Come on. 14, 50 is not much. Not good draw door speed. Okay. I've drawn. I... Okay. We shot each other. That wasn't so good. I'd say probably the, the sort of drawing uh, face-off sections are the maybe the weakest part of the game. But they because they are so different from everything else which is basically a shooting gallery but they have to be how well how would you simulate this in a straight-up FPS you, you really couldn't but it's not too hard it just takes a little a few retries and then okay my speed is way high focus is way high okay I can draw and shoot him oh we shot each other again I'm going to try it one more time and then I will draw on him first. Simply because nobody wants to keep watching me die like this. Still those dollar bills in the air. That is such a lovely touch. It's just the atmosphere. I love, ga I love games with a good atmosphere. You know, you know I do. And the atmosphere in this game is just awesome. It just screams like Wild West and old cowboy movies. I mean, obviously this isn't historical west this is yeah i'll try one more time this is a historical west this is very much old cowboy movie west clint eastwood you can imagine this guy is being played by someone like clint eastwood maybe in a, in his younger days or, or something it's because here yeah, 
he's just killing a bunch of dudes, shooting, um, just doing all the Western cliches. Oh, come on, Finn. I thought I was faster that time. All right, so this time we're just, we're going to shoot him dishonorably, which I haven't actually done. I killed... Gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. Oh, and the narration keeps going. And I Kid Curry. And maybe Elsie Lane. Oh, okay, so re it's a replay of the earlier well, line. Some folks but might dispute that. I do love the way the game is narrated as well. It makes you feel like the game is listening to you. Now, so my, my speed here is awful. Oh, it's going up, it's going up. We've got focus. Right, I'm dishonorably killing this guy. On that very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. Well, that is Call of Juarez Gunslinger. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about this that. This game is super fun. It's not that expensive. I think I got this, uh, I got to say, a couple of years ago, maybe in a two-pack with Far Cry Blood Dragon, which, by the way, also an awesome game. Uh, I quite like the fact that this and Blood Dragon are both shorter games. This took me about 14, 15 hours to beat. Blood Dragon is, I think, about the same. I've got a great deal of appreciation for a game that gets in, gives you a good experience, and then gets out. Too many games are like padded to all hell these days, like, for example, Dragon Age Inquisition. But this game, super fun, look out for it, gets my recommendation. Thanks for watching, you varmich, you critters. I don't know the Western cliches, but thanks for watching, cheerio for now.